Hello, my beautiful and wonderful people. Today is my first equipment review for some photography equipment. As you may know, and some of you may not know, is that I'm a wedding photographer, and I also do portraits, and I do sporting events. I do it all, basically, and that's what makes me pay my bills. Anyway, so I've gone through a lot of equipment in my 10 years of doing this, so I figure I'd start to do some product reviews so you wouldn't be wasting your money on equipment and you know right off the bat. So I was online kind of poking around doing some interesting things and if you hear some jingle jangle, that is my wonderful pup. Come here. Leah! Hi Leah, say hi to the wonderful people. Aww. She's just walking around keeping me company. Uh, so I was just poking around the internet trying to see what I could find and things like that and this universal lens cap came up and I was like, huh, I wonder what this is. And it was an Indiegogo, so they were trying to raise money to actually do it. So it took me a long time to figure out if I was going to do this or not. And I finally just bit the bullet and I did it and I ordered them and they came in the mail today. I'm so excited. So uh, I just wanted, to, I actually already opened up the box because I wanted to see what they looked like. I was too eager. I was an eager beaver. They, nothing really spectacular, just bag and like this thing. But let's, uh, let's open it up. Let's find out what this is all about, right? So it's from a uh, Kuvard camera. I believe that's how you say the name. It's K-U-V-R-D, not sponsored. But anyways, so it comes in this cool little tube. Um, I like their their logo. Their their logo is pretty awesome. So, and then it comes with these like little tags. They're numbered. Let's go in order, shall we? So we have hello. So thank you for getting yourself a universal lens cap. Woo! All right, we set out to eliminate the common stresses photographers face. So basically, losing lens caps, all that you know, wonderful stuff. Uh, thank you. So it's a nice little thank you that they put on the back of this. You're very welcome. How to order it on Amazon, Facebook, how to use this so don't use fingernails. Um, admire the universal lens cap for five plus seconds and then quietly say to it, Um, then slowly stretch it over the lens. Okay, great. Sounds good to me. Until I do that. And then basically, how do I join the family? You know, all that stuff. Free photography courses, Lightroom presets, all that wonderful info that if you order these lens caps, you can get. So, here we go. They're made out of rubber, so I don't, I, I already knew this, so that's why I don't mind, like, doing this. They're in there pretty well. So let's see. So it's nice rubber, and it says it's supposed to go on every single lens, so I'm hoping that it will do that. As you can see, it has a very high ridge. I kind of like the look of it. It does collect some dust on the outside pretty easily, but that's okay. Um, I do like the look of it. It's pretty simple, kind of just indents and this like little plus sign. I don't know really what that is, but that's okay. But it has a high edge, which is kind of really nice to go around the edge of our lens. That way it protects it a little bit more and it's not easily snapped off. Like uh, right here I have my 70 to 200. So sometimes when I have this uh, hanging off my side, because I have a harness that I do two cameras with. If this is hanging off my side, sometimes if I put the lens on, it can easily just pop right off. Great. And then I either lose it or, you know, I have to stop what I'm doing to put it back on and all this other annoying stuff. I was kind of hoping that the universal lens cap would stop that basically and make it a little bit easier to have lens caps on my camera. So, Let's start with the 7200, the big mamma jamma. All right. So, not using my fingernails. It's my first time using it, so I don't know. I 
It says slowly stretch it too, so I'm kind of impatient. But I'm trying to be patient, trying to be patient. Okay. Okay. That wasn't that bad for the first attempt on it. I kind of like it. You know, it's it goes over a lot of the front of the lens. So even if it gets bumped, you even kind of protect even more so because it's rubber. So even if it bangs against something, it's gonna be protected a little bit more than just a plastic lens cap, which is kind of nice. You have a little bit of space at the top between the, the cap and the lens. So you have that space, it's like a drum. It's nice too because it also will help protect, I think a little bit from like sand if you're on a beach doing a beach wedding or a shoot or whatever. You're not supposed to get sand in your bag, but sometimes it happens. It's okay. It happens. But this will help protect it a little bit more. I do have these really awesome custom-made back caps, um, which I haven't decided if I'm gonna stick with these or switch to these. That's pretty awesome. Nice and easy takeoff, right? So we're gonna put this guy away. I'm gonna grab my 35 millimeter, which is a little bit bigger. So the 70 to 200 has a 77. Actually, they are the same size. I never even realized that. This is a 77 millimeter and this is a 77 millimeter. Well then, they're both gonna fit. So I'm not even gonna do 35 millimeter because it's gonna fit over. This though is gonna be the big test. This is my 14 millimeter lens. So this is my big fun guy. Um, it does have its own awesome clip in lens cap, which I don't think I'm gonna switch over, but I wanted to see if it would stretch over it. Still gonna stick with the other one, but let's just for fun, let's find out, right? Ooh, it's not pretty, but Yeah, it definitely doesn't look pretty, but it stretches over it. That's pretty awesome. It stretches all the way around to the back end. I don't know if you can see this or not, but like over the lip of this, you could probably get it all the way around if you did it nicely, which I cannot do apparently. So that's pretty awesome. I'm kind of happy with these. I'm not mad at all. What I also do like is that they come off nice and easy, as you've been seeing. I just, and it comes off. They do come out, go, go inside out, but that's an easy fix. You know, it doesn't take that much time. But they also can get pretty small. I like the crumpling effect. So you can have them like folded up in your back pocket. They don't take up a bunch of room. Um, and you can kind of smush them into your bag if you need. So I'm, I'm, I'm really a fan of anything that can like crumple and be effective and fit in my bag. Cause I personally do not like to carry around 35 bags to a wedding. As it is, I already carry two bags and light stands. And that's a lot. Uh, so anything that can crumple up, fit into a small pocket, good, good enough for me. So uh, if you're, so if you're looking for something other than having to keep buying, you know, a thousand of these plastic lens caps because you keep losing them, you have to replace them, and it gets annoying and it's so aggravating. So if you're looking for an alternative, get the universal lens cap. This is pretty awesome. I do have a wedding coming up on Saturday, so I actually get to use it in the field and see how it works in the field of an actual wedding. Um, it is video instead of photography, so it's a little different, but still gonna be taking lens caps on and off, so I will be able to tell you guys how they respond in the field, how they fit in my bag, how everything else works. I'll be able to tell you in the future videos about that. Speaking of future videos, segue, oh my gosh, is that 
If there's any equipment that you guys would love to see being reviewed, if you're thinking about something, if you're not sure about a certain piece of equipment, maybe I have used it already. Maybe I can do a review on it or maybe I can purchase it and figure out if it's actually useful for you to purchase. I can do things like that for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this and please subscribe down below if you want to see more. Uh, hit that little bell icon if you want to know if I post new videos and also if you want to leave a comment down below tell me what else do you want to see do you want to see more equipment reviews do you want to see me actually using the equipment maybe I'll do some demos like tell me what you guys want to see this is all new to me and I'm excited to see what you guys want to know so you can go to uh, curved curved Maybe it's curved. Curved camera, K U V R D camera.com. You can go to their website, and I believe you can also look for them on Amazon and get them through Amazon. So I got in at the Indiegogo stage, so I did get a little bit of a discount. Um, so maybe they still have it up. I don't know. Look for it. And uh, there we go. There's my review. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, keep snapping. <laughs>